<laughs> got, got into some donuts backstage. So, Dan, a lot of great movies are on the horizon. Uh, I guess so, Julian. You know, I didn't want to mention during that last segment, but I've actually seen the new Star Wars movie. I've seen all the major releases. I've seen Star Wars. I've seen Superman versus Batman. I've seen Ride Along 2. <laughs> I've seen them all. How's that even possible? Those movies aren't even out yet. Well, I don't want to say I bit torrented them, but I bit torrented them. Uh, it's crazy. I mean, you can get anything online nowadays. I mean, Julian, here is a video of you dressed as a hot dog making out with Vladimir Putin. No, that's not true. That is me as a hot dog making out with Vladimir Putin. I know, it's crazy. Yeah. So, since I've already seen everything, I thought I'd do our, sir, our viewers a service here and save them $14 on a ticket so they don't have to rub up against a total stranger on a sticky armrest sitting in a chair that's undoubtedly infested with parasites in a segment that I call Dan Spoils the Movies. <laughs> Dan spoils the movies. You never, Marie and the Mercury Yeah, Marie and the Mercury Five. <laughs> Dan, time out. You never cleared this with me. I don't know if I'm comfortable with you spoiling all these movies for the audience. Can it, Clark? I'm not your stool boy anymore. <laughs> Stool boy? I'm in the love seat now. Oh. All right, our first movie, uh, it's actually in theaters right now. James Bond returns for the 24th goddamn time, Inspector. <laughs> and in it, our favorite gentleman spy kills a bunch of bad guys, drives a nice car, and has sex with a pretty lady. Okay, you just described every Bond movie ever. Not exactly. Remember in the 80s, there was that one where he killed a pretty lady and had sex with a bunch of cars? Oh, right. <laughs> Those Dalton years were weird. Yeah. <laughs> the best Bond, I think. But uh, moving on, we've also got uh, Hunger Games Part 3, Mockingjay Part 2. In this one, a group of angry young people rise up in protest because they're being forced to murder each other on television. These generations, I swear. I know. They're just a bunch of whiners, these kids. So how does it turn out? Well, it all works out in the end, Julian. Oh, the good guys win. Well, actually, I mean Jennifer Lawrence fulfills her contract. <laughs> Good for her. Yeah, so did you really see all these movies? Of course I did, Julian. How else would I know that in the new Marvel film, Captain America Civil War, once again we see a bunch of super-powered white people fighting over control of an energy cube. <laughs> or an energy sphere, or an energy cylinder. That's the only thing that ever changes, the shape of the energy thing. <laughs> Actually, in this next one, it's an energy torus. <gasps> That's the donut shape. That's right. Make sure you see it in 3D. Okay. It's really donut-y. <laughs> also, you're going to want to catch this next one. It's a boxing flick called Creed. No, that's not it. <laughs> ah, there we go. Yes. Michael B. Jordan stars as the son of everyone's second favorite fictional boxer. <laughs> Sign me up. Yeah. Pretty, Sign me up. Exciting. Now, I actually had trouble reviewing this one. I thought there was something wrong with the sound on my laptop because uh -huh. it kept going like, I. Uh, uh, uh. Turns out that was just Sylvester Stallone's cameo. Oh. So that's, uh, Your cruelty knows no bounds, Oster. Hey, you know, you gotta try. All right, <laughs> moving on. You know, actually, I haven't uh, only been watching the big budget blockbuster movies, Julian. I'm also checking out The Lighter Fair. Mm -hmm. I caught uh, my big fat Greek wedding too. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, what was that like? Uh, three words, bigger. Fatter, Greeker. Oh. That's how I like it. Yeah. Do you see that dinosaur movie? Is it The Good Dinosaur? Mm -hmm. Where the people and the dinosaurs live with each other? Yeah, I don't really like religious movies. But <laughs> I did catch Michael Fassbender in Macbeth. Oh, can I say that here? Michael Fassbender? No, Macbeth. Yeah, you can. It's not a real theater. Okay, great. <laughs> so I saw Macbeth. And I gotta be honest, it's a lot of these and those and verilies. You know, if I wanted to see an overly long Michael Fassbender film where he plays a tyrannical ruler and everybody talks exactly the same, I would have just seen Steve Jobs. No one saw Steve Jobs. Dan. I know, yeah, but they act like they did. I know. <laughs> yeah, all right, finally, our last film it's Quentin Tarantino's new western, The Hateful Eight. Mm -hmm. What'd you think? Well, I wanted to review this one. Actually, I made a mistake, though, I accidentally downloaded the porno version. The well, Hateful Eight. Oh, how was that? <laughs> you know, it's better than you think. <laughs> That's Dan Spoils Movie! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.